How's it going? Chris from Blu-ray Critic and today I'll be reviewing the Die Hard Collection made available for the first time ever on Blu-ray. I'm just joking. Uh, okay, re-release for the hundredth time. But uh, this time you get the digital HD code for all five films and uh, also includes the unrated cut of Live Free or Die Hard and A Good Day to Die Hard. So during its initial release of the set, even though it stated the unrated cuts of Live Free or Die Hard and A Good Day to Die Hard, it did not include the unrated cuts. It was just the theatrical editions. But uh, don't worry because uh, Fox has corrected the problems and uh, I will get into it as far as uh, what you can do. Alright, so if you're watching this video and your set does not include the unrated cuts, uh, what you want to do is uh, send an email to Fox at uh, foxconnect at orderassistance.com and uh, they're basically going to ask for proof of purchase pictures and whatnot and uh, once they receive that they will uh, mail you the two corrected versions of the film, the two unrated cuts. So my set here has the uh, corrected discs as I got the extra barcode uh, sticker on the back so that's one way to figure out if you have the unrated cuts or not so if you're out in Best Buy, Target, uh, just make sure you see that extra barcode sticker on the back so that way you know you have the uh, corrected discs inside the package. Alright so I'm going to show you guys what's inside and a lot of people ask why does the Die Hard series get constantly re-released on Blu-ray seems like every year or every other year you know it is one of the flagship uh, franchises for the studio so it's a big money maker for them so I can understand why it gets re-released a lot alright so uh, some of you folks are probably going to see artwork on the discs itself I just got the plain titles on mine and if anyone from Fox is watching Please do me and the fans a favor and release uh, True Lies on Blu-ray. You know, I keep asking about it, I know, in my videos. But, you know, now that, unfortunately, Bill Paxton passed away, at least do it as a memory to Bill. We will greatly appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, it's just one of those great action films. You know, we've been waiting since the beginning of Blu-ray. If you can release it either in a uh, 4K Blu-ray combo pack or, heck, just Blu-ray alone, we would definitely appreciate it. So if you don't have any edition of the Die Hard collection on Blu-ray, then obviously this set is the way to go because it does include the digital HD codes for all the films plus the unrated cut of those two movies. But uh, if you don't care for the unrated cut or digital HD and you already have uh, one of the re-releases in the past, then obviously just stick with it. But uh, So that is uh, my review of the re-release edition of the Die Hard collection with the unrated cuts. Thanks for taking a look and I will see you guys soon in my next update. Take care.